Hey guys, Natalie DeVito, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you do not know who I am, I'm a Roman Catholic YouTuber and I do YouTube videos on all things Catholicism. So if you're Protestant, Catholic, or whoever you are, you're welcome here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Holy Week how-to, a guide into Holy Week and how to have the best spiritual and physical Holy Week that you possibly can because Holy Week can be a very hard time for us. It can be a time of really like tearing back on ourselves and really suffering so i'm going to tell you guys how to suffer well i'm going to teach you about holy week and things you should do on each day so that you can get the most out of your holy week and give the most out of your holy week but before we get into today's video make sure you like and subscribe down below if you haven't already and make sure you follow me over on instagram at natalie underscore demina for more catholic content on april 1st i have a very special thing coming out i have a newsletter and I'm going to have the link down below for you guys to sign up. All you have to do is put your name and email. And once a month on the 1st, I'm going to be sending out a newsletter with exclusive content over there. So make sure you follow that and subscribe to that emailing list. And then also over on my Instagram, I'm going to be having really good things and announcements. Just go follow me over there so that you can stay up to date with what I'm doing. And on March 31st, on Easter, I have something very, 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 very special coming out that you guys don't want to miss. So make sure you're following my Instagram for up-to-date posts and the newsletter for up-to-date posts because there's going to be a lot of cool things coming out. Um, I've been working hard this Lenten season for you guys so that when Easter comes, we're going to have a big celebration. So Make sure you follow me on all my socials so that you stay up to date and sign up for that newsletter. So before I talk about tips to do every day, I want to kind of just explain Holy Week for you guys so that you understand the basic premise of all of this. So Holy Week starts on Palm Sunday, which is the Sunday before Easter. This is a remembrance of when Jesus entered to Jerusalem and the townspeople, they hailed him basically as king. They waved and waved and I guess moved. I don't even know how you call that their palm branches, fanned their palm branches, <laughs> um, hail Christ as king. He rode in on a donkey. So that's what we're remembering there is his entrance into Jerusalem, which will soon start his passion, death, and resurrection, the whole Paschal mystery. So this is a very important mass and thing to remember. Then we have Monday through Wednesday, which is kind of just an awkward period, but I love the awkward periods because it's really important that during these awkward times that you're reading the Bible, that you're understanding that Christ did do stuff between that day he came to Holy Thursday. There were things he was doing. There's preparations for the Passover. So it's really important that you read the Bible and you stay up to date, I guess, if you want to say, on what Christ was actually doing during those times because it's important for us to know because it is during the daily things that we do is where we build virtue and habits. And so it's cool to see what Christ did during these not so special days. Then Thursday is known as Holy Thursday where Christ instituted the Eucharist at the Last Supper where he was, he basically had his last Passover meal with his apostles, his last meal with them, with everyone that he loved. So it's important that we go to Mass this day because this is the day that Christ instituted the Eucharist and it's good to go to Mass, do a washing of feet with your family if you don't have it at Mass. I have it at my Mass, so I'm lucky with that. But then after Mass, we have an adoration it's all night that you can go to. So I would say go to adoration that day. And if you if your church doesn't like have it, find another church that has it and go to adoration because Christ's apostles couldn't stay awake during the garden during his agony. So it's important that you can stay awake with him during his agony. So make it a priority to go to adoration that day. Then we have Good Friday. Christ was arrested last that Thursday night. So now we're in mournful day. Wear all black. Like be in a mourning state. We're in a mourning state when our friends and loved ones here pass away. So imagine our God passing away for us. Like that, that's hard. That's very difficult. So yeah, I would say go to mass, but you actually can't go to mass. We can go to a, like a memorial Eucharistic service, but you can't go to mass because there are no consecrations to the host that day. So they take the host from the day before on Holy Thursday and then you can receive them that day. Do a veneration of the cross. Really meditate just on Christ's love for you, that he was willing to die for you or for you, and he did. He didn't get scared. He like actually did it. He died for you. So yeah, make sure you really focus on that that day and 
this is a day of like deep fasting. You're only supposed to have two small meals and only eat two small meals and one big meal and then um, only fish. And yeah, it's supposed to be very, a very deep fasting day. Um, my family and I watches the passion movie. So go watch that with your friends or family or alone. And yeah, just really try to make a lot of the sacrifices that day. Then we have Holy Saturday, which is a pretty awkward day. It's like you wake up and you're like, okay, Christ's dead, but what do I do? So that's, it's kind of supposed to feel like that. It's supposed to, what I like to think of it as is a day of meditating upon purgatory and what purgatory is going to be like, because you have hope that Christ will save you, but also you're still attached to your own human powers and you're like, but that's impossible. So it's a really good day to meditate on purgatory, pray for the holy souls in purgatory, and ask Mary for help in intercession because she was in a very deep state of grieving for her son. Then Saturday night is the Easter Vigil. If you haven't been to an Easter Vigil Mass, I highly advise you to go this year. It starts dark with only candles, and it ends up being like a four-hour long Mass. Um, but we get new Catholics into the church that day. It's just so beautiful to witness and see, and it's just a huge celebration. Because Easter is considered like one of the holy, or the holiest day of the year. So it's really cool to be there like at night because Christ, like we think, like resurrected at night. So it's really cool to be there that night and see it all. Then we have Easter, which I said is the holiest day of the year. And it's very important to go to Mass, very important to celebrate that day. But don't let the celebrations just become celebrating for celebrating sake. Make sure they're focused on Christ. And make sure that you truly are meditating on Christ and his like resurrection and his love and mercy he had for you to literally resurrect and bring you into eternal life with him. So yeah, focus on time with friends and family because that's what Christ did when he resurrected. He talked to his friends and family. So make sure you do that. Don't be secluded that day. And yeah, I mean, really just celebrate, sing all the all the ways you can and just have such a wonderful time. Two things I forgot to mention is that Make sure you go to confession before you start Holy Week just so that you're clean and it's easier for you to actually suffer well because when you suffer with Christ and attach it to Christ's sufferings, you are able to suffer better. And so, yeah, make sure you do that in the beginning so that you're cleansed and that Christ is in you and living in you and his divine life, his sanctifying grace, so that you're able to suffer well. And also on Good Friday, it starts the Divine Mercy Novena, so... Um, that goes for nine days until Divine Mercy Sunday so that you are able to celebrate and just meditate upon the mercy of Christ. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure you go follow me on all my socials again. And yeah, I love each and every one of you guys so much. Have a blessed day. St. Teresa of Lisieux, pray for us. Have a blessed day, y'all.